Here is question 1a part 4. So we've got our di tree diagram at the top with all our data and here is our question. So the question says that we've got 120 apples in an export carton and then we have 172 export cartons are produced and so we want to then work out how many apples were there in the total crop. So if I think about all the different apple trees at the orchard, okay, all the different the apple trees there, we've been told um, from each tree there have been a few apples that were sent off for export and we want to know um, how many apples there actually were originally on the tree. So not just the ones sent off for export, but all of the different apples. So we need to figure out, work backwards essentially, to figure out how many apples there were originally on all the trees. Okay, so that's what the question itself is asking us to do. So let's then break this down and think piece by bit. So the first thing I want to think about is the fact that we've got all these export cartons. So when I've got a carton of apples, in each carton of apples there are 120 apples. Now I've got 172 cartons, so that tells me I want to think how many of the um, apples were there, and I want to know how many of them were export quality apples. So I want the total number of export apples. Okay, so the capital A stands for apples and the little e is the export ones. And I know I've got 172 cartons and in each carton there are 120 apples. So that tells me in total there are 20,640 export apples. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. All right. Now I'm going. Now that I've done that with that information, I now need to look at some probabilities and think, right, what do I know about? Well, I want to know about what is the probability that an apple is picked for export. Okay, because that's going to be quite an important piece of information. So I want to know what is the probability that a apple is chosen to go to export. So we want to look at all the different possible combinations and think, okay, from all of our combinations, which ones meet that criteria? So here's our combinations. Now, which ones are going to meet the criteria for export? Well, the very first one, PE, that goes for export. The next one, PM, goes to market. Next one goes to factory. The next one goes for export. Then we've got another market, factory, and we've got um, not being picked at all. So in terms of our probabilities of being picked for export, we've got two possible choices there. So we need to combine that together to find the probability for export. So we're going to do 0 0.063 plus 0 0.0945, and that is going to give us a probability of 0 0.07245. Okay. So what I've got so far is I have the probability of an apple being an export apple. I have the total number of apples that are being sent for export. And now I need to work backwards to figure out well, how many apples were there originally. So just going over to a new slide here. Um, and what I need to think about is we have our lovely formula that hopefully you're all familiar with. E equals n times p. In this particular case, I'm trying to find n. I'm trying to find the size of the original population. So that's what I want to know, is I want to know how many apples were there originally. I know the expected number of apples sent for export. There's my 20,640. I've gone and found that probability of an apple being an export apple, and we know that probability is 0 0.07. 245. Now I want to sub those, substitute those into the formula and rearrange to find what my original sample size n is. So how many apples there are in all of the trees. Okay, so that's going to give us 20,640 equals n times 0 0.07245. And now we're going to the opposite of multiplying 
um, by 0 0.247 um, times, well, bleh, start again. The opposite of multiplying by 0 0.07245 is dividing by that number. So we are going to divide both sides by 0 0.07245. Okay, so I'm just dividing both sides by that number and it will cancel out on this side and then I'm going to get my calculator and I'm going to type into my calculator 20,640 divided by 0 0.07245 and that's going to give me a value of 284886.1 Okay and so I'm going to round that um, up, and so that means I needed to have originally 284,887 apples. So that ha that's how many apples there were originally on the trees. And there's our answer.